Next time I introduce you, try a little eye contact. And next time, don't refer to me as your son, the half-baked writer. You shouldn't need my approval to write. Everyone needs approval, Joe. Hello? Am I speaking to Mr. Gosselman? I'd like my wife to get on the extension. Hello, I'm on. It is my great honor to tell you, Mr. Gosselman, that you have been chosen to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Tell me this isn't some great big fat joke. It's all real, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Stockholm. We are so delighted to have you here. I came across some of your stories in the College Journal, beautifully written. Joe had a very heavy hand as a teacher. Did he encourage you to keep writing? A writer writes because he has something personal to say. You write with intelligence, but you're detached. The characters are supposed to be detached, especially the mother. My wife doesn't write, thank God. Otherwise, I'd suffer permanent writer's lock. <laughs> Don't ever think that you can get their approval. Who's? The men. The ones who decide who gets to be taken seriously. A writer has to write. A writer has to be read, honey. I am aware of Joe's various indiscretions. His affairs have nothing to do with you. That's a deep-seated fear of inadequacy. Don't paint me as a victim. I am much more interesting than that. Don't walk away from me, Diamond! I can't do it anymore. I can't take it. I can't take the humiliation. What are we doing? John, we're not bad people. I think you are sick and tired of Joe Castle. I would like to convey to you the warm congratulations of the Swedish Academy. You have reinvented the very nature of storytelling. Tell me about yourself. Do you have an occupation? I do. And what is that? I am a kingmaker.